Hello dear friends, welcome to lesson number 11, today we'll see three basic tools, blur, sharpen and smudge, so let's start. So first we will see the blur tool, what blur tool does, simple as its name it will blur, but how, let's see. Select the blur tool from here. On top there is some options, we don't need to change its mode just use it in normal mode. But you can change the strength. And sample all layers is very important here, if you want to do non-destructive work then use this and I will also recommend you to use this. To use this first create a new layer and check the sample all layers option. But if I uncheck this and try to blur here, see nothing happening. And now if I check this option, and now I try to blur, see it's working. And now it's totally saved because we are working on a new layer. And we can edit or remove this layer at any time. This tool is actually for manual work. If you want to blur a specific area then you can use it, but usually we don't use this tool regularly. Because there are so many blur options available in filter menu, and definitely we will see all in next upcoming lessons. I show you there. Just go to filter, blur, and there are some different kinds of blur, all are very important with different properties. Now let's see the sharpen tool. Now what sharpen tool will do? Simply it will sharp. It has also the same properties above on top, mode, strength, and sample all layers. Make sure preserve detail is checked. Now first create a new layer. And just paint over the eye to add the sharpness, and don't paint too much otherwise it will burn it. Look before and after, and if you think this is too much, you can decrease the opacity. This is the main benefit of new layer, you can't do this on the same layer but it's totally non-destructive. There is also more options available in filter like blur. Just go to filter, sharpen, and, there is some different types to add more sharpness, I will teach you all in next upcoming tutorials. Now let's see our today's last tool, the smudge tool. It has also same options on top, mode, and sample all layers. What smudge tool will do, this is just like you are rubbing the texture and color, and you can also use this to add smoothness. But if you are using this tool remember that, always work with minimum strength, otherwise it will move the texture too much. I show you in another example how it moves the texture. And let's see what it does if we increase the strength. Just look and observe what it's doing. So guys, it was today's tutorial, today we learned the blur tool, the sharpen tool, and the smudge tool, very basic but important to know, thanks for watching, see you in the next lesson, goodbye.